Hi everyone and welcome to another video of mine and in today's video we're going to be doing another weathering series video so uh, what we have here is an old Powerline Models VHSY hopper wagon now uh, this wagon and I've said it before in, in previous videos uh, it's just a freelance uh, wagon so I don't think it's based off any prototype but um, I think this will be a good one to uh, weather and hopefully detail it up. Now I've already done a fair bit of work to it, like I've added KDs and other decals to it and all that, and I've covered that in a previous update. So uh, yeah, anyways, in today's video we're going to be weathering it. And uh, quickly we're going to be using some Vallejo light slate gray weathering powder, Humbrol enamel number 29, Vallejo cold white, and then Vallejo Black Glaze. Those are the colours we're going to be using. And of course, just like the previous weathering video, I'm using my airbrush. So uh, yeah, um, those are the products I'm going to be using, as well as thinners and stuff. So uh, yeah, I reckon let's get on to it, shall we? So uh, that's all the weathering done. Now uh, I'm really, really pleased with this one and uh, hope you like it. Now the camera doesn't do it justice unfortunately, so what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to matte varnish it and then once I've done that I'll put it all back together and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. So uh, see you in a bit. Alright, so uh, I've left the matte varnish to dry and uh, I've now put it back together. So pretty much it's now complete and I'm really really happy with how this one turned out so uh, this is the, this side those are the ends it's the other side and then that's that end there's the roof that came out pretty good and then here's the under frame and bogies
So uh, yeah, I think those turned out pretty good. And I'm really happy with this one. So uh, it just shows that you can make a old wagon look, well, really good now. So yeah, I'm sure this one's going to see a lot of use running around the layout. And hopefully, I'll hopefully be able to get a few more of these if I find them. So yeah, if I find these, I'll, um, I'll pick them up and uh, add them to the collection. And I want to at least have a rake of four of these. As, you know they do look pretty nice and uh, although they're not based on a specific prototype with a bit of detailing and some weathering I reckon you can get them to look pretty good so uh, yeah there we go um, that will end the video for today so I would like to thank you all so much for watching I really do hope you enjoyed it let me know what you think in the comments section below uh, the next video will be another model railways video uh, probably not a weathering video, but it'll be something to do with model railways. Um, I'm just not sure what yet, but uh, we'll see what happens there. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and as always, I will see you all in my next video. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.